There are some very rich women who have been successful in life. Who is the richest woman in the world as of now? Welcome to the Biz Page channel. In this video, we will be looking at the richest woman in the world and how she was able to achieve. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more valuable content. Now without further ado, let's dive in. The current richest woman in the world is Alice Louise Walton, who is the daughter of Sam Walton, the founder of the Walmart retailer company. Walton was born on 7 October 1949. In September of 2016, she owned approximately $11 billion in Walmart shares. At present, Walton has a net worth of around $68 billion. This makes her the richest woman in the world and ranks her as being the 17th richest person in the world. Let's take a look at the career of Alice Walton. At the beginning of her working life, Walton held the position of being an equity analyst and money manager for First Commerce Corporation. She was also in charge of investment activities at the Arvest Bank Group. Another position that was held by Walton was that she was broker for E.F. Hutton. In the year of 1988, Walton established her company which was known as the Lama Company. This was an investment bank, and after the company was founded, Walton became the CEO and managed the company as a whole. When Sam Walton wrote his autobiography in the year of 1992, he described Alice as being very similar to himself. He stated that his daughter was, the most like me, a maverick, but even more volatile than I am. Walton was the first person to be in charge of the Northwest Arkansas Council and was in an important position during the construction of the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. The airport opened in the year of 1998. Before the construction of the airport, leaders in business and civics of Northwest Arkansas Council saw the asset in having a $109 million regional airport in their corner of the state. Walton was able to give $15 million in initial funding to go towards the construction. The Lama Company then underwrote a $79.5 million bond. Because of the contributions that Walton was donating, the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport Authority recognized Walton for doing the good deed and in return, the airport terminal was named the Alice L. Walton Terminal Building. In the year of 2001, Walton's name was put into the Arkansas Aviation Hall of Fame as a thank you to her investments towards the airport construction. At the end of the 1990s, the Lama Company ceased trading and closed down. In the year of 1998, Walton moved to a ranch in Millsap, Texas, and named the place Walton's Rocking W Ranch. Fast forwarding to 2015, Walton listed the farm for sale and relocated to the city of Fort Worth in Texas. Walton decided to move to the city as she wanted to focus on the need of the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. This museum is located in Bentonville, Arkansas. This is also the same art museum that she founded in the year of 2011. Are you learning some interesting facts on the richest woman in the world? If you are, then be sure to leave a like on this video and visit the Biz Page channel for more valuable content. For more information, then read the video description below. At the age of 24, Walton married an investment banker from Louisiana. This marriage took place in 1974, however it only lasted for two and a half years before they divorced. Stated by an article on Forbes, Walton then married the contractor who built her swimming pool, however this marriage also did not last. Walton had a fascination for artwork. She, along with her mother would go on camping trips and paint watercolor pictures for the memories. Due to her strong interest in the subject, it led to the Walton Family Foundation developing and establishing the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas, as mentioned earlier. In December of 2004, Walton acquired artwork that was sold from the collection of Daniel Fraud and Rita Fraud at Sotheby's, in New York City. A year later in 2005, Asher Brown Duran's celebrated painting, Kindred Spirits, was purchased by Walton in a sealed bid auction. The price that this painting sold at was $35 million. The painting which dated back to the year of 1849, was a tribute to the Hudson River School painter Thomas Cole. It was then given to the New York Public Library by Julia Bryant in the year of 1904 by Julia Bryant. Walton has also purchased artwork by American painters Winslow Homer and Edward Hopper, along with a well-known portrait of George Washington by Charles Wilson Peale. These artworks were acquired in preparation for the opening of the Crystal Bridges Museum. In the year of 2009, Walton was able to purchase Norman Rockwell's Rosie the Riveter for a price of $4.9 million. 
During a 2011 interview, Walton and discussed about the purchases of great works by other famous and well-known artists. Quoting what she had said, Walton had stated that Marsden Hartley was one of her favorite artists he was a very complex guy, somewhat tormented, but a very spiritual person, and loved the emotion and the feel and the spirituality of his work. She then stated that Andrew Wyeth was able to capture mystery and loneliness within his artwork. How do you paint loneliness? Based on this information, Walton was very much into art and liked to talk about it. Walton has been successful in life thanks to her father. However, her father started out working on a farm and it took a decent amount of work for him to build his fortune from nothing. The moral of this story is that you can generate wealth and plan long term for future generations. I hope you have learned some interesting facts on the world's richest woman. Be sure to leave a comment below on what you thought. If you found this video informative, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Biz Page channel for more valuable content. Thank you for watching.